Okay, in this question it says, referring to the graph below, calculate the current account. Now, if you get a positive number, just enter the number you calculated. If you get a negative number, make sure to enter the minus sign before your answer. Now, the figure that you'll end up with, if you calculate it correctly, will be a two-digit or three-digit number, depending upon the figures presented to you in the table. All figures are in billions of dollars. Okay, well, we have a table that's pretty clear here. On the left-hand side, we have the value of the exports, money flowing into the United States. And on the right side, we have value of imports, money flowing out of the United States. So the current account is simply the value of all the exports minus the value of all the imports, which could either be a positive number or a negative number. So let's do this. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to subtract uh, I'm going to go ahead and add up the, these numbers here on the value of the imports first because then we'll have to take that number, subtract it from that number. Uh, if you want to, you can change it to a scientific calculator, but that's not really necessary. Um, a scientific calculator, of course, will be provided on the exam. In any event, let's go ahead and uh, add those up. So we get 526, 526, and then add 109. And then add to that 152. And then add to that 54. Now the advantage of the scientific calculator is that we can actually put that in memory. So we'll do that, memory plus. Now let's go to the export side. So then we'll be able to take that value and simply subtract it from what we have in, in memory. So we've got 362 plus 164 plus 2 hundred plus 26 and that's equal to a thousand fifty two now simply subtract that from memory recall and voila that's our answer two hundred eleven billion dollars and we just put that right in here and that's our answer no need to put a dollar sign or anything else all right I hope that was helpful take care and best wishes